Hello, exheads. Follow me along this deer trail to a hung up tree and that I will try to take down with just a felling axe and the rotational hinge method. That means the ro to rotate the tree free from the other trees that hold him. So that tree was brought down by wind and is leaning or resting against two or three other trees in the crowns with hooked in branches. So it's about 25 to 30 degrees leaning. And the trunk is not straight as you can see, so there might be a chance that it starts rotating by itself. Here you see the root plate, it's lifted off the ground. And you see here the, the branches that hang it up. Rotating possibly by itself in this direction. So first I remove the bark before chopping into the tree. This is always wise to do in bark that is thicker or additional has moss on it because there's a lot of sand and debris trapped that will dullen your blade. So no matter if a tree is laying or standing, uh, first remove the bark from an angle. It saves your blade. And then I proceed to start um, cutting a notch into the tree and I will see if it's if it's moving already or how stable it is. So that's why I do it from the the side that um, away from the side it's leaning to, just to be on the safe side, literally. So I established now the tree is quite solid, so I can continue uh, cutting another notch uh, on one side and finally cut it all around. So it's a little bit like sharpening a pencil, but on the side it's leaning, I will do just a small notch. And here you can see that's a small notch on the side it's leaning towards. Now I will speed up the video and you just watch the tree, how it starts to move and that's an indicator for me where and how far to jump. diameter is about down to a third. If the tree doesn't start to turn on its own, I will help it with my turning hook.
in the slow motion, just concentrate on the snowy patch on the bark to watch the rotational hinge doing its work. So it's rotating forward until the tree comes loose. It stops rotating now and it's just falling. Now it hit another tree, rotating more, stopped rotating backwards until it's down to the ground. Look at the nice snowy cloud coming down. Normally this is done with a chainsaw a lot faster and safer because you are less exposed and you're more alert to what the tree actually is doing. Now I'm checking the hinge and I can see that it's still fully intact. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, ask questions and subscribe. Servus Geri. Dankeschön für die Musik.